Hi, my name is Charlotte, and this channel is about my attempt to become moderately competent at drawing. This week, I'm going to be talking to you about my recent efforts in portrait drawing. If you'd like to catch up on the story so far, I have a playlist with all my previous videos on this topic in the description box down below. My last video on this topic was a little bit despairing. I said at the time that I would consider this past month a success if I did anything at all. I have got to this point multiple times in the past and every time previously I've given up. So my only goal this month was to just not give up. So on that front, it was a completely successful month. There were a few days where I was so busy with the rest of my life that I really didn't know art at all, portraits included. But other than that, I was pretty consistent this month in at least doing a little bit every day. So I'm really happy that I dug in and kept going. Of course, if this was, you know, Hollywood, I would say, and as a result, I had a huge breakthrough. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. That's not to say I don't feel like I made any progress at all, just that there was no one big dramatic moment of change that happened this month. Before I started my last video, I was a few days into following a course on Sketchy called Quick Portrait Sketches by David Tenorio. And at the time of my last video, I said, you know, not that it's a magic bullet, but this course could not have been more perfect for me at that moment in time. And I really stand by that. I had a few more days of content in that course before I was finished. I went through those and I really felt like it was a very valuable course to me. And it was really interesting that in one of the final sessions, which was kind of a draw along, in that session, David Tenorio said, I really wanted to aim this class at people who have developed a few skills, but really feel kind of stuck on a plateau. And because that's exactly my situation, I have a few skills, I have some knowledge, but I very much reached a point where I don't seem to be improving. Some days I think I'm getting worse. I think that was why that really worked for me. So I thought that was a really great class. I really enjoyed it. There were two sessions at the end, which were these kind of draw along sessions. The outcome of the first one was kind of indifferent, but the second one was probably my best page of portraits that I've done so far. I will say I'm not getting likeness. I get what I tend to call second cousin likeness, which is where the person in the drawing and the person in the original photo don't look like the same person, but they do look like they could be distantly related, like they're second cousins or something. But I'm honestly not that bothered. I'm not really interested in kind of hyper realism or getting perfect likeness, particularly when you're working this small, it's very difficult to get likeness because likeness is a matter of, you know, moving the eye one millimeter to the left in order for it to actually really match the person. So I'm happy that the anatomy is broadly correct. I'm broadly capturing the features of the individual, but is it a perfect likeness? It's really not, and that's fine. That only took a few days at the beginning of the month, and for the rest of the month, I've been pretty much using that same approach, the, the approach that David Tenorio took, in order to continue to do quick portrait sketching. I would say overall, I had still a lot of misses, but I had far more hits than I've had. Now, some of that is that I also decided for the sake of keeping going and keeping the momentum up to go back to my comfort zone with portraits, which is drawing profiles. So I drew a lot of profiles this month because this is the one where I have the most practice and I'm the most comfortable with drawing the anatomy. It's not really a surprise that more of these turned out okay. But even so, I'm still pleased that the majority of the drawings still looked human and that several of them aren't bad at all. I would say my number one problem is continues to be rendering. I'm generally unhappy with the rendering that I've done, but again, I'm trying out lots of different things and inevitably a lot of those things are gonna fail. So it's not a surprise to me when the rendering goes wrong. It's more of a surprise when I think, oh, actually this, this rendering isn't terrible. Over the next month, I'm gonna try a few other methods that I've read about or seen or thought of and see if they help me anymore. But for now, I'm also gonna stick to relatively simple heads just as I have over the last few weeks. So just trying to keep some of the variables relatively limited in order to just kind of develop those skills. Another thing that I want to try is studies of other people's rendering techniques. And this has never been something that I've really understood how to do. So I have a whole learning process there, but I think it might really help me to kind of work through somebody else's workflow and see how that actually functions. This portrait drawing series probably seems a little bit repetitive because it's just like me grinding along, trying to learn this thing. 
I'm hoping that at some point I start to be able to branch out into doing some of the other portrait work that I want to do. But I also think this is really realistic. This is what it's like as a hobbyist with no particular talent, no particular level of skill when I started to improve, to have to spend time just doing the thing over and over and trying different things out and failing and failing and failing. The only way to success is this really long and kind of boring route sometimes. At any rate, I will be back to tell you probably more boring stories about drawing portraits in a few weeks. Um, next week, I'm going to be talking about my general drawing practice, which actually has had very little to do with drawing over the last month because I've been really excited by learning to paint with gouache. So I've mostly been painting and not really been doing a lot of thematic drawing the way I was last month with birds. I hope you have a really great creative week and I will see you next weekend. Bye for now.